Yo, what is going on guys here? My name is Expos Man and today I got for you my top 5 THA Clan Wars and Trophy Bases for the first half of 2014. If you guys would like to see more of these, please put them in the comment section below. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through some base reviews of my favorite Clan Wars bases. These are intended to push trophies and win wars. These are not intended to help store your loot or anything like that so if they if you see the, the the storages and everything on the outside or on the edges that's not what they're intended to do those are for hybrid and farming bases that's just a little disclaimer right there for you guys and uh yeah let's go ahead and get on into it our comment section war of the day is going to be i want to see if you guys can find the videos that have one extra wall in them i did not i was not able to use an extra wall in them so go ahead and uh, put in the comment section below if there's an extra wall on one of the videos or maybe multiple of the videos. Yeah, that's basically about it. Let's go ahead and get into it and uh, here we go. Alright guys, coming at number 5 we have a base designed by Eclipse. Now this base isn't the exact best defensive base you'll ever see, but it's really really strange and that's why I put it at number 5. It could be number 1, I'm not too sure, I've never really tried it out. Uh, it could be it could be amazing it could be terrible but I've been seeing this a lot come up in clan wars you see these bases with these extended walls right here and that's just to take up a lot of space on your village as you can see this base takes up probably two-thirds of the the whole village and that's I'm not sure if that's good what it definitely does is it, is it intimidates not as good players so guys who don't want to attack those kind of bases it is rateable but it intimidates a lot of people so people maybe if you're trying to trophy push they won't attack you because they're intimidated they won't get it just because you know if you've ever seen like logic you'll see those lizards that like puff themselves up that's making themselves look better bigger and intimidate people and that's kind of what i i got out of this base it's like intimidating now the trap placement i kind of worked that on my own um he did he did an all right i don't like how the cannons are on the outside and the teslas and i don't like how these air defenses are all centrally located i would have liked to have them a little more spread out maybe re uh, replace them with a elixir storage or a gold storage and just spread them out because what this guy was planning on doing was having a air defense priority base and what that means is basically any air troops that come in he's trying to defend against them things like max dragons and uh, minions and balloonians balloonians things like that i um i don't agree with them being in the center because it's really easy to get to all three once you get to one so once you get to this one you can get to this one extremely fast and you can get to this one extremely fast that's why i want them spread out a little bit more but i get his logic um, the trap placement is relatively all right and uh, it's not very sectioned off it's actually a pretty good hog rider base just for the fact that it is so spread out the hogs are going to have a tough time getting to everything um, the the giant bomb placements are placed fairly well you know uh, the, the, they might pass over it they might not it's all right you know you can't do too much at th8 for anti-hogs see that's number five let's go on to number four all right guys coming at number four we have a base designed by no hopes gaming now this one is pretty interesting because it is a base design mix between pink Faust tesla theme park and that hurricane base design that got like two million views so it's a mix between two extremely popular th8 bases and uh, it does things pretty fairly well. I mean, it relatively triangulates its mar mortars and its wizard towers. It does that really well for its air defenses. They're all three triangulated. I don't like that wall usage, though, personally. I didn't like the hurricane base design. I thought it could do a lot better. I think it's a waste of, you know, like walls. I think you could be sectioning off your defenses a little bit better with those walls. And I think that'd be a little bit more effective. But hey, it's alright. You know, it's got its clan castle and its barbarian king pretty well uh, centralized. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the most about this base. It's just an average base and it does its job really good. One thing I wanted to note for all you guys that are wondering why are these storages on the outside is because a trophy base and a clan wars base is not intended whatsoever to be protecting its storages and its loot. So it's actually meant to put your storages on the inside a little bit so they can be used as a distractor for when these troops are going for these high hit point storages um 
it, your defense can be going after him. So a lot of people are like, why for clan wars do you put your storages on the outside or, or put them on the inside of your walls? It's just for the fact that uh, they have a lot of hit points and it distracts troops. So let's go on to number three. All right, guys, coming at number three, I have to do a little bit of self-advertising. This is on my second channel, Mr. Bazana. This is the base right here. I personally put this at number three because I use this for my clan wars and I absolutely like it a ton. I've only been rated about three times. Once was a two star and that was all dragons, but it did uh, happen to survive it and I didn't have maxed out defenses at the time. So not many people attack this base. They kind of tend to overlook it just for the fact that it's all compact. It's exactly the exact opposite of number five. It is so compact. And, uh, you know, your wizard towers are in a triangular motion. Your mortars are in a really small triangular motion, but they still are. Uh, your air defenses are in one as well. And uh, what it does really well is that, for the fact, is that when you attack from one area, it's going to be absolute merciless. Merciless. So you're going to have to use your uh, spells pretty much right off the bat. It does have that weakness right there. Maybe if you use something like... Uh, it, it's susceptible, susceptible to air raids, so uh, that's the one thing it's not good at. But overall, it's really, really good. I tend to not lose too many raids when it comes to uh, clan wars for the for the fact that it's this. Um, one thing I do recommend is actually taking this mortar out right here and maybe putting it right there. Um, what that can add, maybe you might want to put that right here and that right there. There's that that just spreads out your mortars really well. You know, doing something like this, I'll show you real quick. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna put the mortars out right here. And what that does is it spreads your mortars out so they can attack a bigger range themselves. And um, it just kind of, uh, this just kind of works. So, um, and it, what it also does is it puts your bar barbarian king to where it covers most of the middle or the right side of the the base. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go on to number two. All right, guys. Coming at number two, we have a base designed by Matu Gaming Coc. And this base is a really good base because of the fact that it uses its traps really well. It uses its spring traps and it baits in any kind of any kind of like a bait type base is really good in my opinion. Just for the fact that the the town halls at town hall level eight, it's really hard to to get a good base and you need anything you can and trap utilization is really key. The only thing I don't like are the bombs are all placed in one little area. I guess that's just because of the giant bombs are right here and that's for your wizard towers to protect them. So yeah, this base could actually be considered a trophy base because its elixir storages and its uh, gold storages are placed really well. One thing you might want to consider is um, switching out these gold storages with this wizard tower right here so you could put more on the interior of the base. Um, that's just one of my opinions. You know, you could do that or you could switch the mortars around. It all depends on personal preference. For a trophy base like this or a clan wars base like this, it's actually pretty easy to get going with it. Um, I'm actually going to put a... Oh, you can't put a village tent in there. Oops. Alright, uh, so yeah, that's really good. It's really centralized. You know, its mortars are all centralized. Um, it's triangulated pretty well you know the only thing I don't like that air defense and that air defense and that air defense are pretty easy to get to you can archer those and uh, go right in with some dragons or some balloons or something like that so that's why it's at number two because it has pretty good track utilization it's centralized it's got good triangular formation it uses its Tesla as well um, it doesn't really waste too much space this might be just a little bit of wasted space but that's about it um, yeah, that's basically it. Let's go on to number one. All right, guys. Coming at number one, we have a base designed by Sapivo. This is actually a really, really good base. It might not look like it, but it is amazing. It's one of my favorite bases I've ever seen, actually, for Clan Wars. And I'm actually going to have to use this myself because it is just so good. It uses its traps really well. Its Teslas are really right right there and in really good placement its wizard towers are in a triangle its air defenses are in a triangle and so are its mortars they're all in a triangle it's really really well centralized it's a big base so there's a ton of space taken up but it's also really really hard to actually use hogs on just for the fact that there are traps everywhere on this base i mean you have your giant bombs right here right here and uh, where are the other two? There's one. I think we get three. I think you get three at Town Hall 8. You probably do. 
Um, but yeah, I mean this whole base is just freaking stunning. I, I personally like this a lot. A lot of people won't think that, um, but I just, it, it's amazing. Um, it has its storages on these outside corners for the hit points so they attack it and um, these, you know, these big bad mortars will go after it. It can actually probably can be converted into a, a farming base. I couldn't think of it for a minute there, but I'm not 100% sure about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it right there. I'm going to start using that as my uh, Clan Wars base. Definitely go check out his channel. He deserves that. One heck of a base he got going there. Uh, Spivu. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced his name uh, out the wazoo. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Come on by, guys. Um, comment to see if you won the uh, the comment section war of the day. I'm kind of having a, a tough time with my words right now. Comment to see if you won the comment section war of the day. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Come check out my channel. I do about a top five every week when it comes to Clash of Clan bases. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. So go ahead, leave a comment, drop a comment, what you want to see, what kind of bases you want to see for this top five bases review. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and later.